Warmer weather this weekend had a lot of people running over to Chicago's lakefront, and today the city is taking steps to make it even more accessible on the north side. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us now live with the latest phase of the Lakefront Trail Redevelopment Project. Hi, Mike. Hi, and behind me, as you can see right now, bikers and runners, well, they have to share the same path. But by the end of the summer, the paths will be separated, which officials say should make this area a whole lot safer. One. Around 9 o'clock this morning, the Park District Superintendent Mike Kelly, Alderman James Kappelman, and the mayor all broke ground on the latest section of the Lakefront Trail Separation Project. The goal to split up the biking and pedestrian paths so they're completely separate for the entire 18 mile length of Chicago's lakeshore. This morning, they'll begin work between Montrose and the northernmost part on the trail. That's Ardmore Avenue. That two mile phase of the project should be completed by the end of the summer. Three sections of the $12 million separation project are already complete, and all eight sections should be finished ideally by the end of the summer as well. At Lakeshore Drive in Montrose is the highest rate for bicycle accidents. And my constituents continually complain about all the bicycle accidents happening. This, this change will will make it so much safer for our bicyclists. It's very scary when the bikers go rushing by you at you know 10 to 20 miles an hour and you're just trying to walk. <laughs> Whether you're biking, running, walking or enjoying, this is supposed to be for enjoyment not for stress. It's for relieving stress not for building up stress. Now Fullerton used to be the most dangerous section of the path but the intersection you're looking at right now, Montrose, became the new most dangerous part of the trail once the separation was completed at that Fullerton section. And just how busy does it get out here on a nice summer day? Well, 100,000 people typically come out here to use the running and biking paths on a busy day, making this one of the busiest trails in the entire country. Reporting live at Montrose and Lakeshore, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Aaron? Can't blame them. It is beautiful, Mike. Thank you.